Hi, it's Ashley from Westcott, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware on your FJ80. The first thing you'll want to do is go to fjwestcott.com slash firmware. They'll be able to find the latest firmware for your FJ80. We will cut between Mac and Windows systems when showing the on-screen steps. Both use the same process, but the file systems just look a little different. Once the firmware has been downloaded to your computer, unzip the zip files if it hasn't already been expanded. Make sure to open the changelog text files to see what features and bug fixes haven't been made in the newest firmware. Next, you want to ensure your FJ80 is powered off and cooled before installing the firmware. Now you can connect the USB-A to USB-C cable to the FJ80 USB-C port, then plug the cable into your computer. Make sure to use the provided cable when doing firmware updates. Using a third-party cable can cause compatibility issues. The FJ80 will show up as an external drive device. Locate the bin file on your computer and drag the file onto your FJ80. The file ending in bin will be the only file copied onto your FJ80. Depending on what operating system and applications are running, copying the firmware from your computer may take a few minutes. If for any reason your copying process halts or pauses, just close the copy process window and try again. Once the file has been copied, make sure to safely eject your FJ80 from the computer. Removing the USB-A to USB-C cable from your FJ80 without properly ejecting it from your computer could render it inoperable and require professional repair. Once you remove the USB-C cable, you can go ahead and reattach your battery. Now you can power on your FJ80. To confirm the firmware is properly installed, locate the firmware text in the bottom right corner of the startup screen. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions about your FJ80, make sure to leave them in the comments below or you can always reach us at customer service at fjwestcott.com backslash support.